Got my food. Coolest thing just happened. The uh, delivery guy showed up and he's like, Vian, he's like, I follow you on Instagram. That's always nice when that happens. So I moved to the city about three, four years ago now. And then I ordered takeaway like three times a day, every single day, uh, which is crazy. I don't think it was the healthiest choice. So now I'm ordering these online, which you literally just put in the microwave. It's very healthy food. Just a lot better uh, for me. I don't really enjoy making food. It also takes a lot of time. Well, that and the fact that I'm horrible at making food. Feeling good? You know, I'm trying to prioritize the health just as much as the work. Um, so far, so good. Just trying to improve every day. So done with the workout. And uh, now it's time to get back to work. I'm going to try to make some content. There's so much I want to do in a day. Um, what I've realized a lot recently is the um, amount of time that you have. is actually your biggest problem. I know a lot of people say, you know, they need the money to start a business and stuff. But in reality, it's your time. You know, time is so valuable. You have to think of what's the best thing to do. Usually I wake up and I look at two things that have to happen today that are like my priorities. And then I write down a ton of stuff that would be like nice to have. So I guess you can call it. For me today, it's um, making my videos and doing some marketing for my new business, which I did this morning. Um, I really prioritize things that are currently bringing in, bringing in an income. Uh, so yeah, I have to stick to the videos. I have to put that out. I've had a great month last month. Again, the best month I've ever had. Um, so yeah, just trying to stay on that. I'm grateful for what I can do and the opportunity that God has given me. I've just learned, I think the most important thing this year, which is speed. You have to be extremely fast. You have to get the stuff out. I'm not saying uh, quantity over quality. Of course, both are important and you can have both, but you can only have both with speed. By the way, I know I'm talking a lot into the camera, but I know a lot of guys want to hear, you know, my thoughts on this. Um, you know, I'm literally just vlogging my journey of what I'm learning every day, what I'm, what I've learned along the way to grow to where I am today. You know, I mean, we just hit 5 million subscribers, which is insane. I never thought that would happen. I always say everyone starts at zero. I remember when I looked at my followers, I looked at, uh, you know, some of my friends who had like, 10,000 followers and I thought that was insane like how can a person have 10,000 followers how do you ever get there because I wasn't even growing like two followers a month and um you know that's crazy now you know even on YouTube uh, we're gaining thousands of subscribers every day thousands of followers every day on Instagram and TikTok um and yeah I, I want to help people you know see that it is possible that they can do it and just make sure you're subscribed finally got a much needed haircut it's always a bit too short but I'm not going to complain the guys are super nice and just have to wait a few days for my hair to pretty much grow back. I like to just get out of the house sometimes. What I like about the city is growing up in a small town, like you always appreciate it. So just walking into like a Woolworths or anything, even if it's just for like two seconds, I always think like, wow, look at all this stuff. Even though I've been here for years now, um, yeah, it's kind of an appreciation you have when you grow up with this, not much. Today is a big day. The Springboks are playing Ireland at Loftus, which is a big game. Anyone who watched last year, uh, me and my dad went to the World Cup uh, for the final, um, which was New Zealand, it wasn't Ireland, but we actually lost to Ireland in the pool stages. So now there's like this big beef of, you know, who's really the better team. And we're gonna find that out today. And you know, right now we're actually going to a breakfast with uh, John de Villiers and a company called Be Influence. John de Villiers, who is um, a former Springbok captain, so that's pretty cool as well. A uh, quick little event in the early morning as well. So as you guys know, I'm literally just vlogging day by day now. I don't even get my camera or anything because you know, then you just you procrastinate it. It never happens. It's too much of a setup. Every time you have to get the camera out, eventually I will get back into that. Um, but right now I just feel like, you know, instead of saying, hey, let me wait till I'm ready. I'm just gonna vlog these days every day. I know a lot of you are interested in also growing on social media. I know a lot of you have been asking for that course uh, that will be coming out soon in the meantime you can feel free to just pop me a dm um sending the words learn uh sending anything and um, i mean i'll be happy to have a chat with you because i know a lot of people you know they want to get away from their jobs they want to start doing something they love and I, I feel like i have so much to say i have so much advice i see everyone always trying to grow on social media and they, they always do it wrong when really it's a pretty straightforward business 
it's just a few tips and tricks you need to follow and then if you work hard enough and you're consistent enough it pays off so don't forget to send me a dm by the way if you're not subscribed to the channel yet be sure to subscribe <laughs> <laughs> just got my springbok jersey on uh, the event went really well um john davidius was like the nicest guy ever spoke for like half an hour uh, asked him a couple of uh, questions and you know he actually made a joke saying that they just checked that i didn't take their watches so, but yeah super nice guy everyone there was cool as always and yeah now we're just off to the rugby and yeah, I think it's going to be big. It's a huge game. Overseas viewers, um, by now you guys know rugby is huge in South Africa. Yeah, this is a pretty big game because Ireland actually uh, beat us in the World Cup and we haven't beaten them until 26, uh, well, since 2016. So now they're looking to settle the beef. Uh, you know, we're world champions, we're number one, but they, they think they're the best in the world. We think we're the best in the world. So, you know, they're gonna have a nice little duel, if you want to call it that. I don't know if you call it a duel in rugby. I don't know what I just said, but yeah, it's gonna be awesome. The atmosphere, everyone's having a braai. Got flags here. This is always fun. We went to the World Cup final last year. This is also something else. Like everything has its own special place, I guess. <laughs> 